Our next guest is a supermodel actress, businesswoman, and now published author. Her first book, My Body, is on sale now. Please welcome back to the show, Emily Ratajkowski. I'm good. It's a trip, but you were here uh, March 10th, uh, two years ago, right before uh, the world turned upside down. No, this is like the beginning. This is the book beginning of the pandemic for me. It was coming here, and then I went to a Broadway show, and I remember being like, is this a big deal? Like, everybody's really crammed in the bathroom, whatever. You know, yeah. all that stuff. And then my husband couldn't sleep that night because he was reading stuff about the pandemic, and I rolled over and I was like, what's really bothering you? Because obviously <laughs> something's wrong, because this isn't real, and like, you need to talk about it, and then sure enough, it was lockdown. It was the pandemic, yeah. yeah. It was the rare, uh, the rare time where a spouse is actually being honest about what they're thinking. Yeah. Yeah. I was, I really didn't believe him. Yeah. He brings it up a lot. He's like, I was right. Yeah. <laughs> well, the rare case when you are, you try to yeah. bring it up every... Uh, so it's nice to be back, because it's I feel like it's the back. end of, of the pandemic, because I'm back here. I, I think this is a nice yeah. bookend. Uh, you also spoke about the fact that you were going to write a book uh, when you were here. Yeah. And I talked to some authors who found, obviously, the pandemic was this weird silver lining to have time to work on a book. And other people had giant writer's block because it was such an anxious time and, and they actually couldn't be creative. How did that time off from, you know, living a normal life work out for you in so far as how you wrote? Well, um, the other big part of my uh, last couple of year or year is that I had a baby. Yeah, that <laughs> changes a lot of stuff. So that's also crazy. Um, thank you. And um, I think something about the pandemic, being pregnant, having that kind of that weird sense of time that we all had when we didn't have to show up places was really good for me. But since he's been born, I am the most productive person in the world. Um, just because I every second is for him and then there's extra time. And yeah, so two weeks postpartum, I had to go back to this because I was on deadline. Um, and so it was like writing a book and breastfeeding feeding every two to three hours <laughs> and felt totally insane and incapable of doing it. And now I'm here talking about <laughs> it. So I think things have worked out. <laughs> They're very personal essays and I'm wondering, obviously must be cathartic to both write them, but now there's this moment where everybody, you're gonna share it with the world. Like, how are yeah. you feeling in, in this time where people are gonna crack it up for the first? Yeah, I mean, it, I think that writing it was sort of an act of control for me and um, creating something that was just mine felt so good. And, you know, I think now it's a little bit of like letting it go into the world and letting go of that control. And um, it's been really weird to be talking about the book so much when it's not been available to people. <laughs> yeah. You know, like I hate it because I'm like, well, just read the book. <laughs> right, yeah. Like I don't want to talk about it anymore. I'm, um, and I feel kind of bad almost. I'm yeah. like, you don't want to hear about it anymore. Um, <laughs> so yeah, now it's nice that people can actually go and see for themselves. Even the essays I was talking about it a year and a half ago, I'm, I'm ready for people to read them. You. Uh, do did you share it along the way, drafts with parents, with friends, with family? Yeah, I did with friends. I would, um, you know, writing such a lonely process and especially in the pandemic um, and even before that, you know, you'd, you'd have a bad day and it'd just be like, you have to sit with the fact that you had a bad day, but when you had a good day, you want to share it with someone. Um, so I'd like send my friends a text and be like, no pressure, here's 10,000 words. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Um, nobody else has read it, and if you hate it, I'm going to want to kill myself. But <laughs> um, I, I did have a lot of female friends, so it was early readers and my husband as well. And that was, um, it was nice. It was just like getting a credit for like turning it in, you know, um, just doing the work. I, need, I needed that motivation, so. Um, my, uh, my mom was a middle school teacher, uh, and she taught me French. Your dad was a high school teacher? Yes. And he was, was your teacher? Yes, he was my um, painting teacher. He was really cool. Um, his, his nickname was Rada. Wow. Oh, yeah. that's a really good. So, like, Mr. Rada? No, just Rada. Wow. <laughs> um, he, I, dumped, he was a teacher who was like, lose the, leave the Mr. at the door. <laughs> yes, it was so, he was like that guy. Um, he would take role at the end of class. At the end? Uh-huh, so people could show up late, and, like, the surf guys loved him, and he wore flip-flops. I grew up in San Diego. It was yeah. very specific. <laughs> like, my, class, my high school was outdoors, you know what I mean? I'm yeah. very opposite of the East Coast vibe. Um, but yeah, no, he was really cool, so it worked in my favor. But yeah. how, what about your mom? My mom was also a very cool, 
She was. Okay. She was beloved. Like, she was a beloved Mrs. teacher. Mrs. Myers. Madame, oh. please, oh. Mrs., come on. Oh, my God. Madame, my God. yeah. No, the, 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 I've said this before, but the craziest thing about going back to my hometown is she was so beloved that I'll be in a grocery store and someone will come up the way I will clock it as, oh, here we go. They yeah, recognize yeah. a local celebrity. Uh -huh. And they'll, um, they'll say, like, will you please say hello to Madame for me? And I'm like, oh, they don't care about me at all. So yeah. I, I have the same thing with yeah. my dad. It's really funny. People will, you know, reach out or come up to me and be like, I had your dad. My, my, he's retired now, but they'll say, like, 20 years ago, whatever. And it's, it kind of blows my mind. Uh, you get to be a parent now. You have yeah. an eight-month-old yeah. and a, a little too young to enjoy Halloween, or, or was he into it? Um, I, well, okay, so I think he actually really enjoyed it. He's eight months old today. It's his birthday. Um, <laughs> very exciting. <laughs> Thank you, I'll tell him. Um, <laughs> um, and we dressed him as a bear Great. because my husband's last name is Bear, so it felt necessary. Um, but we took him out. We went to a music class, a baby music class, mm -hmm. um, where everybody was dressed up. And we thought he was gonna fall asleep and then we were walking out on the streets and he was partying. He loved it. Yeah. We live in Tribeca, so there were like so many kids on the streets dressed up and he was just looking around, loving it. It's amazing. It's really the best. Yeah, did your kids? Yeah, I mean, yeah. They're, they're, uh, they're five and a half and three and a half. So they were like, they, this was the first year where they very strongly knew what they wanted to be, uh, which and? was a, a pirate. The three and a half year old was a pirate and the five and a half year old was like a cruise ship captain. <laughs> Yeah. Not like the COVID cruise ship. <laughs> maybe. Since we're talking yeah. about. Okay, all right. Yeah, like maybe that was what he was. That's so like, specific. Because he was like nothing scarier than like being inside a boat with COVID. That so, like, documentary that's my really costume. blew my mind. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, okay, cool. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, before Corona, the norovirus, <laughs> like you wish you got Corona <laughs> instead of that. Um, so I have a question about your uh, professional career. Uh-huh, yes, yes. Do you have any memory of this photo? <laughs> I do, I you do. do. Yes, I do. Um, um, Pete was being pretty hard on himself. I know, I, I saw that. Yeah. He was being pretty hard on himself. On the I day, think great. Did, you, did he come off as a, as he a pro? He totally, um, he's um, a professional. Yeah. First of all, you should know that about Pete. And he got um, into character mm -hmm. in a real way and was kind of doing like a... <laughs> Yeah. Um, that worked really well. Yeah. And yeah. He um, was a fish. I was impressed. At the end of the day. As a model, you know, <laughs> I really, I was like, wow. As a model, be honest, when you show up and there's someone with maybe a little bit less of a pedigree, huh. you know, the guy who's there to be like the not a model in the model shoot. Are yeah. you up for a minute or are you like, all right, let's see what you got, Davidson? <laughs> I think you're being a little mean. I think I he, don't, I'm he's, only he's got the height. He is a tall obviously, guy. Obviously, women find him very attractive. Yeah, well, obviously. <laughs> So, did, you, did you hear he's got a show on Tubi right That now? I did. I did. I did. I mean, they don't just give that to no, everybody. They don't. Very special. <laughs> very exclusive. Yes. Yeah, yeah, you're right. I don't know why I'm like, how's that guy a model? Yeah, yeah. I feel like only other men feel that way. Like, yeah. Guys are like, wow, what's that guy got? And I'm like, I mean, he seems super charming. He's yeah. vulnerable. He's yeah. lovely. Great. His fingernail polish is awesome. Like, he looks good. <laughs> there you go. He's great. All yeah. right. Well, yeah. I'm sold. I'm going to have him back on. Good relationship um, with his mother. Yeah, great know. relationship with his mother. We He's love just it. just a, a sweetheart. So, it's um, to find him. There you go. Um, congratulations again. Thank uh, you. This just must be the best feeling to finish a book. I think that that's yes. having only read one, <laughs> more than one. More than one. I still can't believe that people write a book. So yeah. uh, you've done the impossible. Thank you, and that's um, why I just didn't tell myself I was writing a book until it was done yeah. because it just felt like the impossible. So Wait, I want to see. Oh, very good. I was gonna. My last thing was gonna be your uh, book jacket photo. How much time did you spend on this? Um, so actually, my best friend took that. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> um, with a digital camera, and she's very excited because she got photo credit. Oh, that's so a big forever. Deal. She'll have a little name. You know, it's good. Yeah, that's it made very me nice. Happy. So yeah. you, you uh, paid it forward. Yeah. Hey, thanks for being here. Thank Congratulations you so much for on the baby. Me. Congratulations yeah. on your book. Emily Ratajkowski, everybody, my body's on sale now wherever books are sold. But please remember to support your local and independent.